Hey guys, it's Kratos. Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this or maybe just want to see more Farming Simulator on the channel, make sure you give this video a like and also do leave some nice feedback in the comments section. But ladies and gentlemen, in the previous episode of Farming Simulator, we've earned some serious cash from horses and this is going to be such an amazing income source for us, especially using the Horse Helper mod. It still costs 300 bucks per day per horse. In my scenario, eight horses, that is 2,400 bucks on a daily basis. But if I would be doing this myself, okay? So let's take into account that I think it takes about roughly five minutes to train one horse, okay? Per day, eight horses, that would be 40 minutes per game day uh, times 10, which I think it takes, a, I think it takes about 10 days for them to, to be able to be sold for 50K. That would be 400 minutes. Divide that with 60, that would be, uh, what, 6.5, 6.6 hours, roughly, game time, uh, real life, just to get uh, them sold for, for that amount. That would be crazy. And then we have to be taking account, like we need to feed them, we need to get some water, some straw in. So yeah, farming that up as well, that would take some time. But uh, with the helper mod, fantastic. Look at my horses. My horse is amazing. But ladies and gentlemen, in today's episode, I have huge plans. Uh, well, they're not that big. Oh, by the way, I did get myself uh, a plow in between episodes. It is this one, the Agromash, and I did plow the fields over here. So the only thing they require now is lime. It was actually a fantastic explanation in the comment section by a viewer called uh, 3DPDK, I believe it was. And obviously, I am a farmer, so my uh, farm knowledge is pretty much reduced to zero. But he writes something like this regarding lime, okay? So every time you grow a green plant, the soil is growing in becomes a little bit more acidic, or the pH values are reduced. So lime is a calcium oxide, uh, it's a base chemical, and adding that to the soil neutralizes the acid and also rises the pH values. And obviously the explanation is much longer than I just read, but that's all I needed. Thank you so much for that information. So what do we need to get ourselves? This is a lime machine, also known as a lime machine. And where would one find all of those? Maybe crop protection? But I don't think so. I've seen one um, over here, the big bags. So lime big bags. So we're looking for this symbol over here. There's also lime stations. I'm not really sure we can uh, maybe just go over there and buy them, but we will see. So this symbol and uh, yikes. Um, hmm, a loading of wagons? No. Fertilizer technology, maybe? Keralis? Uh, nope, nope. Yeah! Okay, we got the bredos, uh, this one and this one, and how about this one? No. So it is pretty much those two over here. And the biggest difference between those is the capacity. So this is 39k for 14,000 liters? No. Oh, deceiving! Oh, I see. So... How much is 14,000 liters? It's this one. And then spreading discs. Okay. So that fully, fully, fully pimped out is 14,000 liters, 18 meters across in width, and it's going to cost us 47k. 48. And how about the big one? If I go uh, extension, okay, that is uh, 18,950 liters, and the spreading discs, that is 76. You might be a crazy idiot. No, 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 no. This is perfectly fine, okay? Because like in buying the small one, we would, we would, I guess, in the future buy this big one anyhow, right? So it's better to spend the money while we got it. <sighs> it is what it is. But you know what I really want to do today as well is to get into the grass mowing business. Because what we could do is maybe just mow the grass here around the fields, and then feed the horses with the hay. That is an idea, right? But the uh, cash is... Okay. <sighs> Carlos is like, Si, Geral is mi amigo, my biggest customer. Uh, let's go. We need mowers. And I believe I used those two in FS15. And they were pretty darn amazing. Because this one over here is pulled behind your tractor, right? It has got a sack monkey ball, so let's nod. This one is a back version, but I believe this is kind of like switch from side to side. So like left to right, left to right. And this one is going to be the front one. Zup. Yes, please abide. So let's get this one and then uh, the back one. So the width is going to be 8.4 meters across. That's perfect. So that is going to mow the grass. Step one. Then we need ourselves, uh, let me see here. We need the tethers. Because I believe what the tethers do, they they flip the grass, right? Uh, to make it dry faster. Uh, so what is it? This is the cheapest one. Uh, six meters across, 8.7, and the Pottinger, 13. Go big or go home. Right? Uh, we'll do it. 
And then, and then we need, I believe we need wind rowers. Because what they do, they they gather up the the grass or hay and whatnot uh, for the baler. So this is 10k, 23k, um, 4.6, 8.5, 9.3, and 14.8, but 62k, okay, it's getting out of control. Let's go for this, maybe, the coon. Looky, looky at my cookie. How does this even operate? I don't know, but I'm happy. Um, and let's, let's purchase that as well, and 152k remaining. Maybe a bailer. Don't do it, Corrales. I want to have this one. I did lease it. And I did like it, mainly because it's kind of like versatile. Because you can use it for hay, you can use it for straw, and you can use it for grass, and it has the wrapping possibility. However, it's round balls. But, uh, I mean, balls are perfectly round, that's 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 fine by me. Uh, or bales, I mean. Lease it. No, because we're going to buy it anyhow later on. Buy it. If I can afford, I'm going to buy myself a Chewy. A Chewy Silverado. Because uh, cause why not? Is it badass? It is fairly badass. Like, I mean, this is a farming vehicle, right? <laughs> Look at the exhaust pipe. <laughs> we had so much cash. And it's gone. What have I done? Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we've seen this. This is the Baylor. I love it a bit. Then we have the wind drawers. We're gonna figure them out later on. Then we have the tethers. And then the mowers. Oh, those guys are gonna be super badass. Holy smokes! And then we have the lime spreader. So I guess what we could do first is maybe... I'm not, you know what? I'm not gonna purchase any lime. I'm gonna go to uh, one of those lime stations on the map. And we're gonna see if um, maybe we can acquire lime that way. Because why would there be lime stations? Maybe we can farm lime in the game. But uh, you know what? Let's check it out. Let's just connect this up like so. Perfect. Are we connected? Yes, we are. What can we do? We can turn on. Okay. Open the cover. Okay. Not, not too shabby. And where would the closest one be? We do have one here at the biogas plant. We also have one... I've seen it before. Where the crap was it? Over here. At the port grain elevator. So maybe this one. Because then we can go out to the little pier, which I haven't been at yet, and check that out. Yeah, people might be crowds. That's a little bit oversized for your size of fields at this stage. And um, yeah, yeah, it is. But eventually, I guess we're gonna get a bit bigger fields and such. And also, I believe lime in the game is used instead of plowing, as long as you don't plant like certain uh, crop types, I guess. So it's gonna be amazing for us. Believe it, okay? There are so many places around here which I haven't even seen yet. What is this over here? Hyper fast, hyper tasty. Tidal view motel and uh, some type of a restaurant. No freaking way. Oh, is, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, which button? Are we blinking? Yes, we are. Has it lights? Is this actually a thing? Because then we can pick them up. Oh boy, okay. A free pointer. Uh, okay, a little bit short. Story of my life. You know what? I'm not as good with balls as you might think. But but we will figure this out. Do you guys see that? I'm amazing with balls. Just kidding. Like so. Okay, a little bit short. Keralis, this, this is a farming simulator game. I know, ladies and gentlemen. Shooting hoops with Keralis. Ooh, a rim job. That sounds terribly wrong, by the way. Amazing, amazing. Uno points. Dos points. Okay, who's the man? I'm gonna be back here. This was amazing. Uh, sorry, sorry, nobody, nobody. We've got us. Turn them off, and off we go. See, there's those small things in games. Uh, things I, I do enjoy. Besides farming, that is. Mega Ocean Ocean Thrift Store. Okay, okay. oops, sorry. Um, I believe it's over here. So let's just turn. Ooh, oops, <laughs> what happened there? <gasps> there is people about. I haven't seen like people walking in the game yet. I'm wondering if it might be... 
this little silo over here. Let's just position ourselves, uh, menus, any... Okay, maybe open cover, and start filling. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, choose lime, boom. So I guess meanwhile, while this is filling up, let's just go check out uh, the surroundings. It is those small things in life. Hello. Okay, maybe we should not leave our vehicle unattended with the keys in. But uh, this is definitely like a little bit like a Santa Monica situation. Because we got the pier over here. We have people walking about. We do have some, 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 uh, some stuff being sold all over the place. The tourist center is just located over here in Ravenport. We have... We have bicycles again. Sorry, my bad. Life as a farmer. Okay, I think we have just refilled it for 4,200 bucks. Zzz. Okay. Uh, dangerous, Corrales. No. Okay. Oh, so close, but, but, but yet so far away. Maybe I go from... Okay. No, I don't think it's possible to, to cross this. Why would they make it such a beautiful pier if you can't even go to the, to, to the end of it? It doesn't matter. Okay, this is kind of cool. Even though it's closed off in the far end, but it's still pretty cool. Hi! Can I... Can I interest you in a radio, sir? No? No? Well, uh, that is definitely not beach attire. Ma'am? You're not dressed for the, for the occasion, okay? You have the stilettos. Lady, you're not dressed for the, for the occasion whatsoever. Okay, this is, this is, this is really sweet. But um, the main objective in this was uh, to get here. What is this, by the way? What, what do you sell over here? What is farm crisps? Uh, I'm a farmer. Hello, ma'am. Sir, hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Kiraas, I'm the farmer. Hi. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, sir. So the question is, is this done? Uh, well, it should be, because we did pay for it. Uh, about 5k for all that lime. But as I said, I think, like, if you use lime... Yeah, look at that. It's pretty much filled up. If you use lime, you don't have to plow the fields. As long as you don't uh, plant, like, special... Well, I think there's, like, a few, few special crops. I think it's, like, potatoes, uh, corn, I believe. Maybe even sugar beets or something like that. If you plant those, you would need to plow the fields. But other than that, lime will be sufficient for us. On the crops we're currently just using. Who's not down that sign? <laughs> maybe me. Yeah, maybe me. I do feel that we are quite heavy with having all that lime in the back. Like the speeds, we are using the Valtra. Can you just imagine this? Well, no, you know what? No, because the Fiat is a beautiful workhorse. He would have made this as well. And we need to get a few trips back and forth, as you can see. I wish there was an option in the game which allowed you to deliver equipment to your farm straight away. Pretty much like, uh, not sure if anybody played Gold Rush, but as you buy equipment in Gold Rush, you can have that delivered uh, to your lot, especially like the big equipments. It's kind of handy. I know it might ruin a little bit of the immersion of picking up your machine at the store and stuff, but but yeah, it would be kind of kind of cool if you could do that in this game as well. Cannoli, dad is home. I don't think I even fed cannoli today. We need to kind of role play this, okay? Let's just park the tractor over here, and uh, cannoli. Who's a good girl? It's a good girl. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. We're gonna unleash the Fiat on this task. Uh, we're gonna see if the Fiat can pull that trailer. Uh, mainly because I'm gonna be going back and forth, back and forth to town. And um, the Valtra is a titty, 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 titty bit faster. And with all the new equipment purchase, we will need more sheds. Okay, so it's either getting a Chewy. Chevy, I know. Or uh, getting uh, getting a new shed in here. And I think I'd rather pick the shed. Because uh, I don't want to have my all my new equipment indoors. Well, under, underneath the roof at least, okay? 
Sophia, will you be able to do this? I mean, it, it is like, I think it's got like 150 horsepower, so hopefully, yeah. Let's see. Like a charm. Uh, okay, I just need to figure out which field does need lime. This one needs a lime. This one over here needs the lime. I don't think this one needs the lime. So we need to lime this up and lime that up. And that should be it. So let's let's try this out. Uh, the range was what? 18 meters on this. So unfold is X, I believe. There we go. Position ourselves like like me. Okay, Fiat is a little bit slow, but but it, but it is uphill, okay? Perfect. And is it B, maybe? Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing it. Okay, mistakes have maybe been made a little bit. Okay, this is super nifty. Uh, however, oh, oh. However, one thing which I'm a little bit worried about is the amount of lime used. Because uh, just on this little thing, we just used uh, a thousand uh, liters of lime. It might be a little bit too much. But who cares? This is amazing. I can afford it, right? Uh, maybe not. The, the good thing about this is that we can actually see what has been limed and what has not been limed. It's in my face. It, it is beautiful. But the life as a farmer sure is grindy, ladies and gentlemen. Sure is grindy. Boom. Turn it off. Fold it. And since we don't need lime on that field, let's not waste any lime at this moment. But with what we need, we're definitely going to need one more shed. If we buy a shed, I guess we're going to be placing it maybe over here somewhere about. So having that, this over here, we also need a vehicle repair shop or a modification station and, and such. But let's wait with that. Those fields have been limed. Now let's head into town and let's grab the mower. So that's going to be the first step. Then we're going to get the tethers. Then we're going to get the, the wind drawers and then the baler. We forgot about the weight, but I guess it doesn't matter because we're going to be going back and forth, back and forth quite a few times today. So let's start with the, the front pottinger, like so. Perfect, and then let's grab the, the back one. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna come so handy. And I think that what was the width on those guys? Like nine meters or something? <laughs> Take a peek at this, ladies and gentlemen. And um, unfold those guys like so and like so. Turn them on. Uh, maybe I can't yet. Okay, that's the front one. This is amazing. Okay, let's not stick in any body parts, big or small, because it's gonna hurt. Ay, 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 ay. Fold them up. Fold them down. This is, uh, this is simply beautiful. And then I think V is to lower it. Okay, there's the front one, and V on the back one. Perfect, and then just beat up. Beat up. And um, here goes nothing, I guess. So how... Oh, okay. So it's pretty much just taking the grass. It's not taking the bushes, as you can see, or the flowers and whatnot. But I guess it doesn't really matter, because I think they're kind of kind of beautiful. But... Um, as I'm thinking, I'm just going to be mowing the grass around uh, the fields for the moment, and eventually we might even plant grass on a few fields, mainly to get the uh, hay up for, uh, for the horses. Uh, cannoli, please watch out. I don't want to mow my dog. And yeah, people have been actually requesting one more thing, and that is to, to merge all those fields using a plow. And to just one big field, and actually I might do that. Maybe not uh, the bottom one, but, but those two top ones could be could be merged. Because down there, maybe we could use that as a place for... I don't know, maybe a chicken coop or something? 
Or an extra barn of some type? Why is this game relaxing? Can anybody answer that question? I have no idea. It's just so... I wouldn't say it's brainless, because it does require quite a bit of brain activity, but it's just... it's just calming. Just sitting here in your tractor, mowing grass. Can I mow those? Uh, oh yeah, look at that, okay. So what we could do, we can mow down the, the weeds, uh, which kind of looks like a little bit of a farm flower, but I guess they act as weeds. But those white flowers are uh, no-go. Man, this is going to be so pretty around the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, look at us go! It is definitely a transformation around the, around the fields. Just having the, the big flowers over there and bushes, I guess it's fine. Yeah, so I guess those are really like no-go, like the, the, the flowers. I think there's one thing in the game which will help us with those. I'm not sure, however, and I believe it is the meadow roller. If we would, if we would, uh, if we would uh, like plow this section of here uh, with the plow, uh, allow plow, uh, allow field option in the plow, and then use the roller, it would transform to a meadow, and they would maybe disappear. But I cannot find them attractive. Uh, yeah, they're pretty attractive, I guess. Attractive bushes and flowers. So now it kind of depends what we want to do. Because we could either do this. We could use the tethers uh, to flip the grass around and then uh, dry it into hay straight away. The windrow over here pretty much just gathers the moisty grass into piles. And then we can just bale the moisty grass and with the wrapper. And no, I'm not talking about Big and Tupac. With this plastic wrapper, we can wrap the moisty grass and that's going to ferment it to silage. So there's definitely a lot of possibilities around this. But uh, what did I say? We did say about hay for our animals. So maybe let's start with that. We can even try both just because we can, I guess. So let's make a few bales and then wrap them just to kind of see how that machine works. And the rest is going to go for hay. So let's start with this machine, the tether. Boom. Connect it up. And how big does this guy become? Oh my goodness! Um, and I guess that means those guys should be spinning around. Let's see. Okay, watch your bits and pieces. Especially eyes at the stage. <laughs> this is this is incredible. So the moment of truth. Let's unfold. Like a so, I turn it on and lower it. So, with this machine, as I see it, it should just flip the the grass and turn that into hay straight away. And comparing them just here, so that is a darker green tint, and I, ugh, I hope this is how you do it. Yeah, look at that. So the, the darker green disappears, which is the moisty grass, and it becomes uh, the lighter uh, green, which is the hay. You might be like, but Kiralis, I don't see anything. Well, neither do I. But uh, this over here, that is... Uh, okay, watch your eyes. Uh, that should be the hay. So then using the windrow, we pretty much just collect it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is how you do it. Uh, I think, at least. So let's maybe just go a few laps around here, or maybe one lap, because I do want to um, conserve some of the wet grass so we can bale it up and make uh, and wrap it and make some uh, some silage bales. Yeah, look at that, now we can see it. This over here, zoop, this over here, that is the hay, and this over here is the moisty grass. This is going to be a win-win. So this is, this is for, uh, for my animals, okay? 
it's hay. And then the middle one over here, we're just gonna gather up and hopefully we can make a, a bale out of it. A moisty bale of grass. But then again, now that we have all the equipment, we can just do this ourselves whenever we want to do that. But I do want to see the, 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 the wrapper up in action. Man, this is so neat. Okay, watch the trees, Kraus. Watch the trees. There's a lot of trees. There's a tree over here. Don't worry, we've got this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a professional. I've been farming since I was... Yeah, I've been farming for a week. But I, I'm getting I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there. I'm getting better by the day. By the minute, I would say. Okay, that is perfect. Let's just stop it over here. Uh, stop. Boom. And fold this machine. And then I'm gonna grab the windrowers and uh, we're gonna gather this up. And then I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna grab the baler as well. And then we're gonna buy ourselves a shed and make it look super pretty around the farm. And maybe even... Maybe even buy a Chewy. Chevy. Chewy. Silverado. It's plastic, but it's fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the Kuhn GA9531 Windrower. One of the best on the market, uh, I think. And how do they even operate? Unfold with X? Yes, indeed. Okay, and then uh, V to lower and B to turn them on. Okay, Carlo, I'm very sorry for your parking lot, okay? Yeah, so look at that. They just spin around like so. And then they gather up all the grass in the middle part. And then we're just going to use the baler to run over the over the the pile or the rows of grass or hay. Okay, will this work? So that should collect pretty much all we've got here, right? Uh, turn on, lowered it, and um, let's see. I think, I think it's doing a roll of something. Okay. Hold up. It is not a huge row, but it is a row. Like, it's hard to say if there's going to be any bales around here. Uh, maybe just a few, like a handful of bales. But if we if we plant uh, some grass on the fields now, then we can just do, do this. And there's going to be a crap ton of, uh, of bales with just hay. So I'm quite happy. I'm, you know what? I'm quite well, pleased we got all the equipment we got. Even though it was a huge investment. But now we can, do, we can even do contracts which comes to like mowing grass and stuff. Keralis, the grass mower. Mowner. Not mowner, because that's kind of like when you show your butt, right? Not as moony. I don't even know anymore. Okay, this is going to be so tidy at the farm. The only thing is that it's not going to last for long, because grass grows. Believe me, as a house owner, I know. That's the worst thing, <laughs> worst thing ever. To mow the grass. And it's not because it's maybe boring, it's just because I'm allergic to grass. And I mean just this, this type of grass, okay? Okay, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy so we get everything here. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. Pretty much uh, picture perfect. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's call that quits with, uh, with the wind drawer. For now at least. Now we're going to bail it up and I'm going to start with the moisty grass to see if that actually wraps it. Because if that is the case, yippee ki -yay. So here it goes. So lower the pickup, turn on the baler and lower the pickup. So this should be, this over here should be the moisty grass. The one which I'm driving over at this stage. So hopefully you can see some wrap action as well. 
And it should be, because that is filling up very, 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 very fast. I mean, that is, that is not, not that bad. There's not a lot of grass which has been mown over here. Oh! It's coming out! Ladies and gentlemen, this should be a grass bale, which could be... wrapped! This game just keeps on giving. It's it's just a beautiful white wrap. Man, so it just wraps it straight away. It even, did you guys see that little, like knife just going down cutting the wrap? That is so awesome. The thing is though, however, I don't think we're gonna get any more out of this. Um, can I? There's an option to unload. Turn off Baylor. Yikes! Uh, we'll see. Let's just go over here. Cause I don't, I don't think the, I don't think the bales they mixed, uh, they mix. So like, I don't think you can pick up the hay lines now because it's a different type of uh, material. But I guess time will tell. We're so close of getting one more, by the way. But there is no more grass. Yeah, let's see. If I would drive over this, will this collect? Yeah, look at that. It even collects a little bit of the hay. But does it wrap? Yeah! So this will be silage. Uh, so that is how we're going to make our silage. So it's going to be just fermented inside there, in the moistiness. Yeah, look at this little knifey. Okay. I'm, um... Oh, crap, it's... Ugh, stop it! Okay, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to stop it with my face. Uh, turn off the engine. So I guess the whole operation we just did is uh, three hay bales and three grass bales which are wrapped. One, two, three, right? And then we have one hay bale, two hay bales and three hay bales. Like, it's not much, okay? But we did not mow much grass either. And how much would, like, let's say we would buy... A round silage bale is 2,200 bucks if we would buy that, right? And the round hay bale uh, bales, uh, bales are 650. But this, however, round bale silage. So I guess we just need to wait until this ferments. And that should make us a crap ton of cash if we sell those. We could keep them or we could sell them. In the westing. I can't pick them up either. So, uh... That was quite quite intriguing. Uh, but what I want to do now, I do want to set up myself one more shed uh, of this type, just somewhere about here, just so we can uh, store all our beautiful equipment. Because I don't want to have it like spread out all over the place, because, I don't know, in my opinion it kind of sucks. So let's just move this guy away with all the... the lime. Here. It is going to be perfect. Yeah, we need to store that, this, the tractor, and the baler. Yeah, we have a crap ton of new equipment. So let's just see. Okay, bring up the menu F1 like so. Go into this, go into that, and sheds. And I did grab a few from um, from different mod sites, but hands down, I do like those easy sheds. I, I just think they're perfect. Uh, so we could do here. We can either have... Uh, this is the spinning button, like so. We could spin it and maybe have it aligned nicely with that. Or even, you know what we could do? Okay, some people might be screaming, but what if... Okay, like, align that corner with that somehow, nicely. What would be... What is the cheapest price in this? Like 14k? Can I go below that? 12? 12 is nice. You might be like, what is going on, Gralis? Uh, 3, 2, 1, poop it down. No regrets. That's my credo. No regrets. You might be like, what the crap? You gotta, you gotta keep in mind, like, we're gonna be entering, like, the, the farm or the courtyard of the farm about here. And then we're gonna have 
Beautiful shed with all the vehicles. Beautiful shed with all the vehicles. We could pass here. Those corners semi-aligned, even though it's not really necessary if they do or not. And then we can even pass here in the back, right? Okay, I mean, this is not too shabby. And how about um, the terraforming we just made? You know what? It's not terrible. Because, well, it's not terrible for what this game is. This game terraforming is terrible. But uh, I take it. And then... No, no. And then we can maybe just add... Let me see. Elder tree. You might be like, what is going on? And I'm like, don't worry. Boom. Like over here. Yeah, so we can maybe like, you know, you know how it is on farms. People usually have like back areas to dump stuff. Like for example, if I could move that car, I would move it to here. Just to, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just maybe me. But, but just to make it nice. Let's add two more of those. How does that look? That looks nice. Maybe one here. No, 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 no. Let's not overdo it. Maybe a birch. Don't do the birches. I'm doing the birches. Done it. Perfect. Okay, that looks really nice. And then how much cash do we have? 54k. Zzz. So what, what we could do, we could either... Uh, let me just move that trailer away. We could either do ourselves... Uh, what are you going to call it? Uh, a vehicle workshop. Or buy a Chewy. Kiral is done doing it. I am doing it. 3, 2, 1, and... How much? 28k? Put it down. Okay. Uh, are we proud of having this building over here? I guess it does make sense. It's a vehicle workshop and it's just off the farm. It's not terribly looking. And if it is, we will just fix it with some trees. And then we're just going to replace the... What are you going to call it? Um, the fuel station. Oh, by the way, I even got street lights. I'm not sure that even they even work, but uh, there's a mod which you can get street lights and hopefully it's going to light up the area a little bit. Uh, okay, how about how expensive is that? There's 75 bucks. Okay, let's test this out. I'm not sure we're gonna see any 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 light today, but I'm gonna put it down over here. We have this. I'm wondering if we can turn off this little thing here because that is destroying my immersion. <laughs> immersion. So, what do you guys think about this? Obviously, we're gonna be working on this. Uh, we have 10k. Yeah, we're not gonna afford the chewy today, but we're gonna afford the chewy in the next episode. I bet ya. We've got the little lamp here. Not sure that's even going to work, but if it is, yippee So what I'm going to do, just to kind of make this nice, I'm going to park all the vehicles, all the trailers in the new shed. And uh, I'm going to see how that looks. I'm not going to drive on the fields, because people are getting really upset when I drive on the fields, for reasons unknown. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid the fields. I'm going to go around them. Because uh, I'm a big boy now. But I want to see this. If I just park... Here. Go into this. Okay, I can customize stuff. I can even repair it over here. It is 15 days. 15 game days old. Drop that over here. And this is all mine. All mine equipment. And drop this over here. Okay, that is that is so nice looking. It's getting to the point where it's it's kind of like, hey girls, your farm is pretty tidy, and I'm like, oh, well, spank you, spank you. My farm is kind of tidy, I guess. And boom. I guess the front loader and such could be just outside for the moment. I'm just gonna, yeah. You know what? This is it. This looks fairly good for today, at least. And in between episodes, I am going to be doing uh, some stuff. Uh, like, we can even park two tractors next to each other. But um, not now. We get this beautiful shed. And obviously, ob obviously, like, this guy over here could be standing a little bit this way. So we can squeeze in something next to that. And so on and so on. But that's going to happen uh, very, very soon. But for the moment, this looks really nice. Oh crap, I forgot about the, this trailer. But this trailer is kind of like an outsider anyhow. So let it just be for the moment. Ladies and gentlemen... Progress is being made. We have bought quite a bit of equipment. The horses, however, let me just check them out. How are they doing? We still have quite a bit of oats, uh, quite a bit of hay. So they're doing fantastic. However, they're brand spanking new. They haven't even been here one day. So in between episodes, I'm going to bail uh, that field up. Uh, I am going to maybe even saw something on those fields. And maybe just cut some grass and just make it tidy. But I'm going to see you guys in the next episode.
So what you guys want to see, let me know in the comment section. And thank you so, so much for watching this. We've made, uh, we've made progress. At least it's semi-tidy, I guess. Let's just end on horses. And Chewy is something we're going to buy in the next episode. At the start, because we're going to sell some horses. Hi, my beautiful ponies. Oh, they are so pretty. And this is the purest on all. 300 brake horse powers. BMW X6. Ladies and gentlemen, Kiralis over now. Smack the like button if you guys did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.